folks. We got a little bit different video for me today. Um, I've got the Teenage Engineering Computer One case. It's a mini ITX um, PC case. You can look it up. It's really cool looking. Um, I'm going to be building that today. I'll kind of time lapse it and talk about some of my parts I bought. Um, why I'm making it? Um, well, mostly I like the look of the case, which sounds dumb, but that's that's why I bought it. And then you know my my kids wanted to game a bit. I'd like another computer for just working on stuff, video stuff. Um, we're doing a, for example, we're doing a 1225, which is our other band that does Christmas music. We're doing a house party of things in the studio in a couple months. So I needed something to be able to play back video in my ancient 2010 MacBook Pro doesn't want to deal with that, so it's too slow. So I thought this would be a good op opportunity to build this and see if it can handle that. Um, I've been a Mac guy for exclusively, probably for five, six years, um, though our PC, our computer for the studio used to be PC for many years. I built um, several over the years, I think three or four maybe different ones we would upgrade for the studio and we had them in rack cases and we'd take them on the road when we played live and stuff instead of laptops. Um, so it's been a while since I built a PC. So I had to do a lot of research because a lot of stuff's changed. So let me show you what I got. Um, so for the motherboard, I chose the um, MSI Z690i Unify. Um, it is an awesome motherboard. It's, I mean, it's even got Thunderbolt 4, which I liked that. Um, this is the thing I kind of splurged on because I thought if I could upgrade in the future, if the motherboard is great, then, you know, I can always add RAM, change the processor, blah, blah, blah. So that's the basis of it. It's really cool. Uh, processor, I got a Core i5 12th gen. And let's see, we've got um, solid state M.2 drive. I got a one terabyte one, probably not the fastest thing, but it was cheap. And then for RAM, I've got 32 gigs, so two 16s. It's, uh, this motherboard's got two slots. It can go up to 64. Um, I don't know what speed it can go up to. This one's 4,800 megahertz. Um, so also again, not the fastest, but also not bad. And then power supply, it uses a um, SFX power supply, the small one. And um, I got this thing, power spec, 650 watt. Um, so I got everything from Micro Center to store, to chain, though there's not a whole ton of them. Um, they had some good deals and it's nice to just be able to walk around and pick stuff out. So anyway, we're gonna get started on this. Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but here I go. Okay, so before I get started, a couple more things about this case. So, as you see, it, it comes flat packed. Like, these are all the boxes, so it's kind of like an Ikea style manual kind of thing. Um, and you bend all these tabs and stuff. It also, it can take a dual slot graphics card, though I chose not to do that right now. Though that's something I might add later. They're crazy expensive. and. I was just gonna make sure I can get the thing working to begin with and before I went that route. Um, also, the graphics card has to be under a certain length. I, I think it's around seven inches. So like just searching on Micro Center's website, there was like, you know, like two that were that small. So it's pretty limited on your choices. So um, if I come to do that down the road, then that's what I'll do. The other thing I'm gonna mention that I didn't say, which probably as obvious already is that I am no expert at this stuff by any sense of the imagination. Um, the last time I built a PC was probably 10 to 15 years ago and it was ATX style, so much bigger. Um, so anyway, I'll be learning as I go, but I know the basics of it. Um, I'm no expert on the numbers and the specs of stuff. I just did my research kind of to figure out what to buy. So here we go. Alright, 
So a quick update on my progress. Um, motherboard, CPU and fans attached. M.2 drives under there. RAM, case fan, and it's attached to this piece. It included all the standoffs and everything for it. Um, then this, bent the flaps in. Bending these um, here aren't as not difficult. And you just do it with my finger and thumb. And then here's the power supply attached. Uh, bending this thing was a little more challenging. I think this might be the front panel. Um, so I went behind me to my desk. So I'd have like a hard edge to bend it against, but I think it turned out fine. So moving on, I guess. It's done. Let me shine the flashlight in there. It's actually on. It's not super quiet. Um, so yeah, there's the CPU fan. I read the little light indicator lights on the motherboard. Just says there's no boot drive because I haven't installed it. Seems to be working. So I'll tell you the most annoying stuff. The last part of it was kind of annoying. I would highly suggest plugging your cables into your modular power supply before getting the case half to put together. So I actually had to pull the power supply out. I couldn't get it in. And then these little pin, whatever they're called, pin cables that hook to the power switch and stuff are kind of a pain. They don't stand very well. So I got them in and then zip tied everything together. So anyway, everything appears to be working. It's crazy quiet. The other thing I don't like is there's no cover on the fan. So I'm gonna have to buy a cover and probably replace the screws to make it fit. Um, and yeah, other than that, it's cool. It kind of reshapes itself if you get it kind of messed up, like it's a little messed up right now. But once I get the side screwed on, it'll kind of all pop into place. So there you go. Okay, so I'm just wrapping up the video. Um, computer's all done. Um, I built it. It's probably been a couple weeks ago now. Here it is sitting on the desk. Uh, so I, if you're looking for a case that's uh, mini ITX, and you want something kind of unique, this is the deal. But, um, you know, I'm sure there's stuff that's cheaper, you know, easier to work with and that kind of thing. But I am happy with it. Um, so far, I've just used it for um, Grand VJ for some video stuff, like I said earlier, and um, installed some games on it and stuff. And uh, it's super quiet, super efficient. So, yeah. Um, have any questions, leave them in the comments, and thank you for watching.